Hi, right, welcome to Strafflin Farm, and I'm RJ, this is Christy, well, welcome to you. Hi, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I already did this part, guys. <laughs> and you uh, are? Jay, they already know this. You talk too fast, they couldn't figure it out. It's been a long day. Alright, and this is uh, weekly update 159, I believe. Take two. Yes, because we forgot to change the microphone. Oh, I gotta check that now, huh? Yes, the right microphone is on. We did this little podcast, and no sound. No sound. But on the F side, sync in a the voice <laughs> clip over. Because we couldn't remember what we were saying. Just read your word notes. for word. <laughs> on the F side, I took ibuprofen as we were stopping the other one, and now I only have pressure. I don't have a headache. So, and there goes my phone again. That's Beth, though. Who needs friends? They can walk. No, well, anyway, long story later. Okay, so, in the barn stalls, welcome to our world, it's crazy. I got grapes. <laughs> That's not in the barn stalls. Ginger's in the barn stalls. Ginger, Ginger, who's Ginger? Will you tell them who Ginger is? Please, please, please tell them who Ginger is. Oh, that one didn't taste very good. <laughs> Ginger didn't taste very good? No. Who's Ginger? She's from Arizona. She's new in town. So she's bunking in our corral. She is, um, sorry. Uh, she's fresh out of prison. Yep. She's sprung from prison. She's from Arizona. She was rounded up and they did a, uh, some kind of program there with prisoners and stuff. And we don't know why, but nobody worked with her like all the others have been worked with except her so um we don't know what the deal is or why she wasn't if she was stubborn whatever when i go out there she walks right up to me she gets yay far away not that you can see it on camera but from here to you right mm -hmm. <laughs> you can reach out and pet her head every once in a while oh, and she's I walking know. around with um her lead rope on kind of learning to stop when you pull on her head um she really is sweet isn't she mm -hmm. so anyway she's sweet and um donkey kong goes over and sees her mm -hmm. and when she brays she goes nee, ah, nee, ah. she's got a funny mm -hmm. <laughs> she doesn't sound like um murphy does she oh. murphy's another case in the barn stalls what's his problem He's a guy. Okay, what has he started doing? Pick up the cat. And not always in a friendly way. Like, he had the, he had Yang, who was the white and gray kitten. And he had her almost by the nap of the neck, but it was more like the shoulder and the nap of the neck. And I went out there and I was like, he's going like this. And the cat, and I screamed at him and the cat hisses and goes flying one way and the donkey goes the other. It was horrible. I thought, oh my God. But the cats come back to him. They still come to him. No matter what he does, they come to him, don't they? Mm -hmm. And I can't figure out why. I don't know. Don't know what the big attraction is. I'm scared that he's going to hurt one of them. He's hypnotized them, possibly. They okay. are under a spell. Are you trying to do that, too? What else went going on in barn stalls? How's Whiskey doing? Good. Good. How's Star doing? Good. You haven't really been working with a whole lot with Star, have you? Whiskey's mm -hmm. getting rid road every day. But uh, you got to get back on track with. Mm -hmm. But with the. Yeah, a popular person or not. Okay, I got to turn it down. She's just going on. I'm going to assume that. You'll know why she's texting me here in just a little bit. Oh, really? You will? Yeah, I'll tell them. I got some flaws for you guys. Mm hmm. Anyway, um, anything else going on in the barn stalls? Pumpkin days are going on. Everything's eating lots of pumpkins. Breeding season's going on, right? Okay. Um, let's move on to mending fences. What's in mending fences? What do we do today in mending fences? Caught the place on fire. Did not. Really? How do you figure? 
should we talk about the compost pile? <laughs> or the compost bin. <laughs> Look at him just start grinning. It was not on fire. All right. Okay. The but bin it, itself was on fire, and his dad, trying to put it out, reaches over with a torch and goes like this. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you doing? And then his dad starts trying to pat it with a gloved hand. And then his glove is starting to smoke, and he's like, mm. <laughs> RJ's standing there with the hose, and, <laughs> and he's laughing. He didn't even put it out. So my pallet made compost bin now has burn marks down it. It's still usable, but has burn marks. And what happened when uh, you guys were doing around some of the posts? There was no visible flames. Other than coming off the torch where there wasn't supposed to be I was going to say, Dad caught his own torch on fire. Yeah. It has a little leak. We borrowed it. It has a little leak. And they said, oh, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. <laughs> so, yeah. It, it, but it did good, right? Mm -hmm. And the funny part is it was standing there with no legs, wasn't it? The ark. Mm Go for the other side, dude. It broke free and it's just wedged in there. I know. That Harry always run inside. RJ, do the one on the other side. And then that whole thing, because there's nothing holding it. Absolutely nothing. Watch where it goes. You might want to go from the other side. Go and hit the bottom in towards us. Yeah. Good old rebar. That's <laughs> no, not the rebar. It's this header pipe right here. Oh, gotcha. This one's not even cracked. Dang. Dad rewelded it. Yep. Look, even Hank's over here underneath the awning taking cover. <laughs> the dog is not taking chances with the fence coming down. She's like, let me in. You're all right, Hanky. <laughs> I say, Lee, there's nothing holding that arch when you do it. RJ, it's, it's going to. Yeah. Hey, Dad, Dad. Lee! I already got all I needed. I'm going to cut the rest of it. I don't know how to get my phone. I'm going to do the tacker and bolt on here and put it in the other side. Nope, I got it. Okay, because that thing is just hanging by that pipe. RJ, be careful. Do you understand he knocked it off at the bottom? That pipe is all that's holding it. I know, I know it's the Oh yeah, we're so proud we have not thought this through. We might admit it. We have smoke on the bottom, so we probably are burning something up down there. RJ just wants to hit something. <laughs> Look at RJ jump back. Ta da! It's gone. The arc is gone. I gotta go water some things because there's smoke everywhere. He just likes playing on things. He doesn't give anything any thought. He's like a 20 year old kid. I guess he is a kid. Now that's not connected to that pipe right there. It's already broke off. So watch it. 
Yeah. He's, they're going to teeter-totter on it. The tree is actually on it. Yeah. RJ, mending fences. What are y'all doing? Tearing down fence. Tearing down fence. And we've got most of it down, right? Yep. Except for one post. <laughs> what seems to be the problem? It's about eight foot in the ground. It is not. It's not that long. <laughs> 20 feet in the ground. <laughs> Might as well be. They tried cutting it off and it's full of water. And with the water on the inside of the pipe, it cools the pipe down. You can't cut it. Um, the others, RJ. Um, RJ pulled up the others by hand, correct? And we're literally having to dig this one to China to get it out. All the others are cut off, gone, you know, um, pulled up. What he's doing. What are you doing? Breaking the suction. <laughs> pretty muddy down there. What? I said it's pretty muddy down there. Yeah. the last stubborn one we got to get gone and we're just not having much luck everything else is cut away ready to haul off um, ready to get the tree gone and this one is drove in the ground a little bit it's got to be pulled up but <laughs> I think that's what it is oh no because we cut off one post that was driven down into the ground and now they think that that about a foot below actually it's the third one it's about how deep you are right now yeah one or two little things and we're done but <laughs> they're turning into a big job and the problem, part of the problem is, son, is that we don't know if he concreted some of these, correct? Right. He used to dig a hole and then he'd put a bag of concrete down in there. So when it rained, he'd say that it would set the concrete and then when it dried up, it would dry up. But we don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go and check lunch. Train's coming. You won't be able to hear in a minute, so. All right, so they finally got this one out. It was full of dirt. It was way dug down in. Let's see if I can show you how far down that thing went. Way down in there. And now they're trying to get this one. They've got one piece of rebar that we thought we'd cut off, but apparently it's been driven down in the ground with the other pipe that was driven down into the ground. And most of them, uh, most of the welds broke. And we just come along and cut this pipe off. And... Uh, so now they got to go and dig down in there to see where it goes in. I don't think it's. Yes, it is. It runs in the ground right there. Right and there. The okay. right oh, I see. So we're not going to be able to get that other piece up either, are we? We'll have to dig down here and cut it off. Okay, so they're just digging down to the piece of. Yep. Rebar and then cutting the rebar off yes, at the weld and all of it should come up. Yep. Okay, yeah, simple chores never turn into simple around here. <laughs> Just cut it all off, it'll be fine. Yeah, no, it's not. Me and my brilliant ideas. It's better than, I guess it's come down to a combination of cutting things off and pulling them up, right? Yep. Um, we have intentionally left one pipe, which RJ can hand pull up right here. Um, and it has all the rebar off of it, but it's because it's in use right now until I get this refence. We're going to refence from that corner of the house. 
right over here to the new barn and put a gate in there so um, and we'll probably move the gate up closer to the house so but uh, anyway this is the last part we got to get undone for today and then we've got one gate to put in and we're calling it a day aren't we all right and some of the pipes you pulled up by yourself yep and we got the post mm -hmm. in for the other gate we just got to get the other gate up. i didn't feel like drilling it out i had a headache earlier and i still have pressure we've got a front moving in and it's supposed to rain Dang, like it needs to stay wednesday like thursday and friday no tuesday wednesday thursday so um all right what else the new stalls are going in i got one front door done but my screws are just a hair too long and it worked and they're not enough to cut the horses up or the animals up but they're enough to scratch them up like little scratches you know like i don't know that you can see it like that so i don't want them out there so i've got to go to town um in the next day or so to do the trellis stuff so i'm gonna look and see if i can't find some shorter screws huh so but the doors they look really good don't they mm -hmm. they look amazing um anything else in in mending fences hmm oh. i don't think so i think that's about it we've been working on those stalls um the emt stuff oh well that's kind of in the garden we'll do that in the fields anything else he's too busy eating his sunflower seeds he puts a whole bunch in his mouth and then spits out the shells i just put one in my mouth crack it spit it out i'm a sissy sunflower seed eater mm -hmm. keep him quiet for a little bit maybe he won't pester me right okay so i feel like half of that 12 ounce bag it mm -hmm. went away to paul's valley i had a yeah. 32 ounce cup full of sunflower seeds went to paul's valley to pick up ginger mm -hmm. so. all right um anything else mm -hmm. what stuff <laughs> All right, that's mending fences. What are we doing in now? Uh, yarn farm. I had two different craft shows. We did one Saturday. We were late podcasting because of it. We're late this week because of it. Um, the one is was a band school fundraiser thing, and it was really kind of nice. Um, he's going to up his game on the advertising. One of the newspapers didn't run it. I told him a couple of other places that he can advertise it. And I think they're going to gear it towards a Christmas country market instead of a craft fair which it's the same thing so um right yes yes it is it's just all in the marketing my mouth is empty now he's going to have the choir like the carolers and sing Oops, I missed too, so quit sticking your tongue out uh, you're jiggling the camera stop anyway my tongue jiggles when I do that what okay you're jiggling the whole camera there you're jiggling the whole camera by having your leg on the leg. And you're going to keep doing this until I... Did yes, you see son. my tongue? Yes, son. that was amazing, wasn't it? I sense a lot of sarcasm. Yeah. He'll keep his day job because he's not that funny. Um, okay, so I did two craft shows. Did a lot of that. Everything that's left over from the craft shows I made. Um, homemade lip balm lotion bars, soaps, all that stuff go up in the, um, you know why they shop. call it cheese, what they call it, cause it's Gouda, he doesn't even know that, that squares Gouda, it's mixed, it's got Gouda, it's got Swiss, it's got all kinds in there, he's, yeah, I don't know, but in case that one wasn't Gouda, I'll eat this one, if it's Swiss, you're gonna watch it come back out, not squish, it was a yellow one. See? I know what these are. These Good are edible. Cheddar. Hey! I broke it. <laughs> you little heifer. Stealing my cheese. Okay, first off, I'm not a heifer. Whatever you are. I'm a cow. <laughs> you old cow. <laughs> you took my cheese. By I'm definition, a heifer hasn't had a baby. I'm going to take all the camera space. Okay. Keep talking then. I am a talking. In the this field. This cheese is good. Really, What's going really. on in the field? Um, 
Come on. I seen a mouse today. He was in a field. And I see a sparrow and a hawk. They were in the fields too. Then the hawk carried the mouse away. The garden. What went on in the garden? That's what's in the fields. I think there was a rabbit in the garden. Oh. Ah. Okay. So. Oh. <laughs> you really hit me. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> you really hit me. <laughs> Not hard. Hard my <laughs> what? That hurt. She really hit me, guys. When don't I really do whatever I threaten to do? Well, you never threatened to hit me. <laughs> That's what made it. I mean, you just hit me. <laughs> you guys just pushed me. I was 20 just... years old and shot me. <laughs> oh my god, she hit me. And I didn't even hit you that hard. You left a mark, I bet. I doubt it. <laughs> You have a mark on my emotions. <laughs> you're a 20 year old kid. You're not. You're not it's not even child abuse, dude. <laughs> you're not a child. You have to be 17 for child abuse. At 18, you become an adult. So three years ago, if I'd have hit you, then I could have, might have gotten in trouble. Well, but she really hit me, guys. <laughs> She really hit me. And she didn't even like give me a warning. <laughs> she just hit me. I mean, a light. Just like, if you don't get off me, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> would have been nice. I would have gladly bailed off. But it would have been half as funny. But you hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have rings on, and I didn't do it all that hard. So, next up, um, in the fields. We closed down the garden. I took down the grow tower, I'll right? And, yeah, now you drank mine. Took down the grow tower, moved things around, closed it down. I've got two tubs to move over. Uh, cleaned up all of the vines from the Vine City and put them in the compost pile, or burn pile, Have actually. we already done in the farmhouse? Not yet. Uh, so, that's all closed down. And then I made the concrete basis for the trellis system. And I made one for the... Um, were donated one to the community garden and I got the bases but I kind of screwed up okay so Lowe's changed their thing I used to be able to order online click the pickup in store tell them I'd pay with cash when I got there and they'd have my whole order there I'd go in and pay and just they load my truck and I leave I was going to put a big order in and they never go and get it they, they don't do that and that's probably why <laughs> <laughs> but they they took away their thing and their shopping cart so I had to print out my whole shopping cart and I forgot to double the um, EMT conduit so I only have enough to do one of the trellis systems it's honestly it's only like $35 so I have to go back and get my own um, I'm going to meet with the guy sometime this coming up week. He was in Oklahoma City this week, um, and he works for Farm Bureau, so who's at big convention and all this. And he was gone till Sunday night, which is tonight. So he got back sometime tonight, but I don't know what time his flight got in. And then sometime this coming up week, he's going to meet with me. Wow. Is he Superman? No, he didn't. He drove because he had to pick up the other guy at the airport. He, yeah, it's a big deal. Anyway, um, he drove. He's Superman, man. He can fly. Dork. I you like fly. Anyway, I flew earlier so, on that piece of pie. Yeah, we have. Oh, we have video of that. I was flying. We will pop that in I wherever flying. I can find. It if it's nowhere, it will be in right here. Okay, so. You never stopped it. If that's okay, I can cut it in editing. So. I thought you had to really stop it and restart it. No, but I have trouble stopping it, and we left a big enough pause, so, and I've got to go back and see if I can edit it in where it actually goes, so. Anyway, so he'll cut That's this cool. conduit, and then all I have to do is dig four holes and put it together and drill um, four holes for the bolts to secure the, um, there's a sleeve of PVC pipe on the outside of the conduit that keeps it raised up about two inches off the bottom. There's a nail that goes across there and keeps it up so that water can drain around eating. Oh, I gave her banana and grapes. I bet she waited for the grapes to thaw, didn't she? 
try with that. Because she's over there smacking away. That's a pig you hear. But anyway, and then I somehow ended up with two different sizes of bolts. <laughs> this one's too oh, long. Oh, hey, watch this. Watch what I can do with these bolts. Oh, yes, you're just I did this in another video, but then there was no sound. <laughs> yeah, no, there was no sound. But um, I almost forgot anyway, about the it. ones that are too long, this doesn't screw down far enough to be tight. And you want them to be tight across there so that they don't turn wobble. Turn two into one. Look at that, guys. How do you know there's not ladies watching? You always say, look at that, guys. What about... Guys is just a general term. Do not take offense, ladies. Mm-hmm. You take offense. You light him up in the comments about how... Just so everybody knows, <laughs> I never look at the comments, so... <laughs> I will make sure he sees comments about these guy things. Um, anyway, so we'll get that done, and I'll take that uh, to town. Look sometime. at this, y'all. I have... Look at this, y'all. Mm -hmm. There you go. I have all of my um, donations right there. It's I've got some for the school. I've got the trellis system in the box. And you all the canopy wrong. parts are in there and you all that stuff. So we'll get that in next week. And then I'll go and get my conduit when I go back and get what the 8 What segment are we on now? Um, thing. In the field. Are we on the farm now, Not yet. Oh. I know there's a farmhouse and then the porch, and we're done. Mm -hmm. So what's next? <laughs> in the farmhouse. Good deal. <laughs> oh, speaking of in the farmhouse, guys, I broke my cup. I mm -hmm. use this cup all the time. I've used it for like two years. They can't see the crack, honey. Look, there. No. I've used it for like two years. Like every day, religiously, for two years. Right there, there's a big old crack. They can see it. Now they can, but when it's stuffed in your face like this, they can't. Used it religiously for like two years. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even touch it that mm -hmm. time. But yes. And it All broke. Right. What am I going to do? Alright, anything else in the farmhouse? If anybody has an extra cup that they don't need that kind of looks like this one. You know? It had some kind of logo on it. It's wore off. Yeah, I watched it. In Facebook. the farmhouse. I went to a wine and cheese tasting and you went to a rope right hence the leftover cheese and hence beth texting me right yeah there's something else i was gonna so, do too. something else what i don't remember <laughs> oh when we went to the open i got these cookies i was gonna tell you guys these are mini chips i got four bags this is four, bags. Bags. This is four bags for guess how much okay. one dollar Hey, you almost didn't wait long enough. You had to let them guess at home. Um, if they can read the orange thing, it says 25 cents. Well, now they can. <laughs> see, 25 cents. Yep. A quart. A bag. And there's a lot of cookies in these. There really is. I was kind of surprised. They're called a, a big bag. And they've got... I should have got $2 worth. I about have. three servings in there. There's three ounces in this little bag. And they're they're not huge cookies, but they're pretty decent size, you know. So I don't know. Right? <laughs> I ate your cookie. You <laughs> ate my cookie. Give it back. Up oh, chuck it. Chuck. <laughs> chuck. That 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 I'm looking new. <laughs> well just tickle you. Tickle tickle tickle. Okay, I'm going to end up spewing it everywhere, and you have to clean it up. Me vacating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In the farmhouse, what else do we do besides roping? And pretty much that was it. There's a front coming through, so every once in a while. You got really sick the other night from it, yeah. correct? Yeah. Uh, you worked for your uncle mm -hmm. and got home, and he just couldn't handle it just went in and went to sleep right mm -hmm. but other than that I think that's really and on the porch I was getting ready for that uh, craft show 
and that's all I did. I haven't really done a whole lot. I am going to update the shop and get stuff in there. I might actually, I, oh, I washed that fleece too. I didn't say anything about that. That one wasn't in the other one. You can't we, tell We them. processed the last of the loofahs too. You can't tell them that. wasn't Yeah, there's the a lot of stuff one. we forgot because that had a huh? You just so. can't tell them. You guys can just get that next week. No, because it's this week. And by the next week, we'll have said, no, that was last week. Right, and then they get skipped just like they were going Then people to. don't know what's going on around here. Wow. Wow. Who would have thunk it? We don't even know what's going on around here, people. How are we supposed to tell you guys what's going on around here? Here lately, I haven't. I haven't maintained my notebook where I write things down. I've maintained a notebook. I made lip balms. That was the other thing. You blew your lips off. You bombed your lips. Wow. Yep. Now I got a top to like this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. So I made lip balms. They'll be up in the what didn't sell. Will be up in the uh, shop sometime this week. Correct. Unless she blows off something out. You want to try some lip balm? Watch this. <laughs> all right, we're going to get off here. This is just sheer silliness. I'm going to get you it. You didn't even do it on the porch. As I said, there was nothing really. I made the lip balm. No, bombs. there isn't anything on the porch. We already fed the dogs. Well, I made the lip balms. Yeah. Right? Good night, folks. I'm tired. Yep. Mm. Oh, we didn't tell about crafting Tuesdays. <laughs> Yeah, rewind. It's fine. Boom. All right, now we're back to wherever segment we're supposed to be in. In the yarn farm. We had a few builds up crafting Tuesdays. We had a couple of big groups scheduled. And so we had visitors. It should be pretty good. Yeah, we had visitors come. The lady has goats, and she's wanting to get into some sheep, so she come and she learned about the farm. Mm -hmm. So, she's doing good. It's great. Peace out, Girl Scout. See you later. Talk to you tomorrow. Yada, <laughs> yada, yada. Yeah.